Hello, my name is Joe Murray. I'm a gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic. I'm going to talk today about a recent paper published in Gastroenterology. Celiac disease has for decades been treated solely by a gluten-free diet. This recent paper, a proof of concept study, shows that a digestive um, enzyme type preparation specifically designed and engineered to break down gluten proteins seems to be effective at preventing damage in the intestine when patients with well-treated celiac disease are challenged with gluten. Now normally when a patient with celiac disease who's been on a gluten-free diet for a long time is challenged with gluten it induces um, inflammation or irritation in the intestine and symptoms. In this study from Finland, um, using a, um, a novel preparation that is made up of two different custom-designed uh, enzymes that are breaking down the particularly damaging parts of the gluten molecule. These um, enzymes are combined in a way to maximize the efficiency of breaking down the parts of gluten that drive the disease. And in this clinical study, patients with well-treated celiac disease, they've all been on a gluten-free diet for quite some time, and their intestines had healed, were challenged with gluten at a dose that would indeed induce injury. And in the group who received the placebo, there was significant injury seen. And the patients who received the drug were protected from this damage to a significant degree. What does this mean for people with celiac disease? Well, it's early days. This is an experimental agent. It has been studied um, now in a large international study, including North America, in patients with symptomatic celiac disease. And the hope is, is that it can improve the damage or inflammation in the intestine whilst also improving symptoms that patients may experience from the fairly expected exposure to gluten that can occur in real life. This, the there are many challenges before this drug or other drugs um, can reach the marketplace for celiac disease. They have to prove both efficacy and safety. That means that they work for what they're intended to do and that they're safe. We know the gluten-free diet is not perfect, but it is a very safe treatment. And certainly for patients with celiac disease, they need to continue to work to remain as gluten-free as possible in order to relieve the symptoms that they're experiencing. There are more studies underway with other agents, and it's an exciting time to be involved in celiac disease. Thank you.